Hi, in this session, we will see how by grouping and displaying data, we can uncover insights into patterns of data. So here is one example. So the production manager of this carpet company is responsible for the output of over 500 carpet looms. So that he does not have to measure the daily output of each loom, that is 500 carpet looms, he samples the output from 30 looms each day and draws a conclusion as to the average carpet production of the entire 500 looms. The table below shows the yards produced by each of the 30 looms in yesterday's sample. These production amounts are the raw data from which the production manager can draw conclusions about the entire populations of looms yesterday. So this manager wants to, uh, the uh, responsibility of this manager is to see the output of 500 carpet rooms, which is actually our population. But 500 carpet rooms is a big number. So what he does is that he samples uh, 30 looms and he's seeing the output of these 30 looms and from which he can draw the inference of about on these entire 500 looms. So this is the average uh, uh, production uh, on each day and this uh, average production is of 30 carpet looms. Now we can arrange this data. See what is the difference between this first uh, data uh, table and the second one. The first table, it is uh, the data is in haphazard manner, whereas uh, in the second one, it is arranged in um, ascending order. So, how it is going to help us? Um, in this table, we can't find like what is the range of the data. But here, if we go here, we can answer some questions. So we can quickly notice the lowest and highest values in the data. So 15.2 is the lowest and 16.9 is the highest. So that is the one insight we can get uh, from this data just by arranging this data. By the way, if you if the data is like this, it is not in a, a manner, it's not a range, then we call it as raw data. Whereas if it is arranged, which we see here, be it in ascending order, be it in descending order, so then it is called our data array. So the first point we can say is that, okay, this one is the lowest, this one is the highest. We can easily divide the data into section. So we can see that, okay, the first 15 values are till 16. So 15.2 to 16.0, 15.2 to 16.0 is the first half, that is 15 values, the first 15 values. And the last 15 values are between 16.0 to 16.9. Say so the third thing, we can see whether any values appear more than once in the array. So, if we see uh, equal values appear together, uh, how many, uh, you know, times? So, we can see it appears equal values here, 15.6, 15.6, 6, then second, then third, then four, then five, and... Uh, 16.2 also appears, then 6, 7, and 16.4 also, 8, and then, yeah, 16.8, 9. So, 9 times we have seen that a value has occurred more than once. We can observe the distance, that, the, that is the fourth thing we can do. We can observe the distance between succeeding values in the data. So, for example, if we see here, 
that what is the difference between 16.6 and 16.8 so distance is of 0.2 yards so it's the same distance 15.2 15.4 is point 0.2 yards that is the difference so these are the four things we can uh, uh, talk about the data once we arrange their data so that is the advantage of using data arrays over raw data now but there is a better way to arrange data that is using frequency distribution so when we recorded the number of data points that it fell into each group that is called frequency distribution say here these are the groups and we have created this groups there are six classes so one two three four five and six and this frequency is the number of observations in each class but now there are certain gains and certain losses when we go from data array to frequency distribution so for example we don't know uh, whether the value this 5.5 appears four times because we have this 5.0 to 5.5 and uh, the you know frequency is 4 so we know that all the values which are between 5.0 to 5.5 um, occurs four times but whether it's 5.5 that occurs four times we don't have that information or 5.1 does not appear at all we don't have 5.1 here if we see the in data array we can see that average inventory falls most often in the range from say 3.8 to 4.3 so this is most often that is 8 which is the highest number also inventories in the range of 4.4 to 4.9 is and 5.0 to 5.5 they are not prevalent but occur more frequently than some others so these are you know the numbers of frequency numbers for um, uh, groups uh, these groups is less than the frequency numbers of uh, these groups so frequency distribution sacrifices some detail but it offers us new insights into patterns of data. Thank you.